Hello there. Welcome to the Awesome Quotes channel. Now that you're here, please subscribe. And remember to click the little bell that appears, so you'll never miss out again. Have you ever looked up at the stars and asked yourself, are we alone in the universe? The universe is all of space and time and their contents, including planets, stars, galaxies, and all other forms of matter and energy. The universe is utterly astounding. Put it this way, all of its ordinary matter, all the particles that make us, and everything we can see, only accounts for about 4% of its matter. Whereas the universe's major mass component, the thing that makes up 70% of it, was identified in 1998. Scientists call it dark energy, although nobody, even the most brilliant minds in the world, freely admit they haven't even the slightest idea what dark energy actually is. Standing under a starry sky and gazing up at its wonder, it's easy to believe that we're alone in the cosmos. The distances are vast, and after all, we currently know of only one planet in the universe that hosts life, ours. We know of at least 10,000 sil stars in the cosmos, and exoplanetary systems near us in the Milky Way demonstrate that most, if not all, stars should also harbor planets. It's exciting to think of other sophisticated creatures we could run into one day, or at least communicate with from afar. That's the basis of the whole genre of science fiction. Observations from the ground and from space have confirmed thousands of planets beyond our solar system. Our galaxy likely holds trillions. But so far, we have no evidence of life beyond Earth. Is life in the cosmos easily begun and commonplace? Or is it incredibly rare? In the thousands of years humanity has been contemplating the cosmos, we're the very first people to know one thing for sure. The stars beyond our sun are literally teeming with planets. They come in many varieties, and a good chunk of them are around the size of Earth. Like most scientific questions, Though, getting an answer to this one just breeds more questions. Which, if any, of these exoplanets harbors some form of life? How quickly does life get its start? And how long does it last? Have you ever wondered how far it is to the edge of the universe? If you were to build a spaceship and go as far out into space as you can imagine, what would you discover? Would there be a limit to how far you could go? Or could you travel a limitless distance? Would you eventually return to your starting point? Or would you continue to traverse space that you had never encountered before? In other words, does the universe have a niche? And if so, where is it? And here's something to really mess with your head. Observationally, the evidence that our universe is expanding is overwhelming. A spectacular validation for Einstein's predictions. But this carries with it a series of consequences for objects separated by cosmic distances, including that the distance between them expands over time. For example, today, the most distant objects we can see are more than 30 billion light years away despite the fact that only 13.8 billion years have passed since the Big Bang. Good luck trying to understand that one. Consider the galaxy we live in. The Milky Way. The Milky Way is only a medium-sized galaxy, despite an estimated 200 billion stars. The largest galaxy we know of is called IC1101 and has over 100 trillion stars. 
Since we are located about 26,000 light years from the Milky Way's center, we cannot take accurate pictures of it. Any representation that you've ever seen of our galaxy is either a different spiral galaxy or what an artist thinks it might look like. And there is a black hole at the center. Like most larger galaxies, the Milky Way has a supermassive black hole at its center called Sagittariusa. This black hole has an estimated diameter of 14 million miles which does not include the disk of mass being drawn into it. This outer disk has about 14.6 million times the mass of our Sun and what would be similar to the orbit of the Earth. It's part of the Virgo supercluster, a group of galaxies within 150 million light years. The Virgo supercluster contains at least 100 galaxy groups and clusters and is about 110 million light years in diameter. A 2014 study shows that the Virgo supercluster is only one lobe of a greater supercluster called Laniaca. So, think about it. Uh, billions of stars in the Milky Way alone. Trillions of planets. 46.1 billion light years across. Are we really all alone in the universe? Seriously, do you think out of trillions of planets and 46.1 billion light years across that ours is the only one to harbor life? Share your honest thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make it an awesome day.